Well, that's a very good question. What about pleiotropia? Uh, I've been involved in this field for, for, well, let's say 20 years doing research, and I like pleiotropia. We did a lot of research on flow-mediated dilation change and anti-inflammatory effects, etc. Uh, but if you, if you really take a look on the data, there is no evidence to support that pleiotrophic effects contribute to the cardiovascular benefit in our patients. So, does pleiotrophia in patients exist? Is it a direct statin effect or is it an LDL lowering effect? Well, I can tell you a lot about animal studies, etc. Et I won't do that. I'll just give you one example why I'm convinced that LDL lowering is the key. In animal studies they show that if you reduce LDL profoundly, that you also automatically reduce the inflammation in atherosclerotic plaques. So what we did together with Ahmed Tawago and Zai Fayyad from respectively Boston and New York, is we did a study in which we uh, did LDL apheresis. Now, if you use LDL apheresis, you don't use a statin, you don't use drug, you just use a column which binds LDL and you remove LDL from the plasma. And in these patients, we exposed them to, to apheresis and then after two months, we evaluated using PET-CT the inflammatory activity in their atherosclerotic vessel walls and we saw a marked reduction of inflammatory activity in the vessel wall. But that's pleiotrophia. So now we go back and we say, well, hold on, wasn't that the statin effect which reduced inflammatory activity in the vessel wall? Well, lo and behold, if you potently reduce LDL, you see a clear anti-inflammatory effect, not on a surrogate marker like CRP, but on the inflammatory activity in the atherosclerotic vessel wall. So basically that's another uh, concept why I think that if you really lower LDL, you will automatically, invariably run into other downstream effects of severe LDL lowering. Has those, have those studies been done in PCSK9? No, but they're currently being planned to also show that these effects occur by merely lowering LDL profoundly.